Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, today EPL games are still ongoing and two Ghanaian players they made their debut today and we need to talk about them. One is Antoine Selom Semenyo. Yes, he played for his club side AFC Benamov. And how did it go? Let's talk about it. He started, he was given a start today and he did very well. Then Kamal Din Suleimana also came on to play a part. For Southampton, as Southampton were trashed by three goals to nil um, on the hands of Brentford in the EPL. Let's talk about their performance and all. We also had Tariq Lamte who put up a very good performance. In fact, the highest on his club side, if not um, Karo Mitoma. Then we will also talk about Mohamed Salisu also getting the best performance for his club side. Um, Southampton, even though they lost by three goals to nil, but his rating and everything is going to shock you, I tell you. So let's talk about them. Before then, can you drop us a like? Please like the video after liking. Make sure you subscribe. You put on the bell for more updates on this channel. So one player who made his debut in the EPL today is um Antoine Selom Semenyo, the Black Stars of Ghana striker. In fact, we need to be talking about the player so that whenever they are called into the national team, we get to know their performance and the reason why they deserve or otherwise the call up. Now today, it was Brighton and Hope Albion at home, and they welcome AFC Bournemouth in the EPL, the round of 22 games. And Brighton won the game by one goal to nil by that particular player who is very very um you know powerful and in some hot form his name is Karo Mitoma and um he is doing the magic for them now the game was a very difficult game for Brighton as well as Benmouth as well the first half ended goalers and um the blasters of Ghana striker was doing well as well as Tariq Lamti and the others and today interestingly um Antoine Selom Semenyo made a debut and also completed 90 minutes of football he did not score no assist he had no shot on target or off target. He had no shot on target or off target. And I think there was about two counter attacks. I was watching him and he couldn't do um, or take a very good decision on them. But I think it's his debut. So things will go on well for him as time goes on. He blocked one shot for himself and dribble attempts were two. One was completed for him. Touches were 32 in the game. Accurate passes were 11. Of it, that crazy was 73.3% for the Black Stars of Ghana striker. And um, he made one cross in the game. Ground was won, where four out of the seven he went in for. He went in for five area doors. He won three out of them. Possession lost were 11. And he also made one foul. Two, um, you know, fouls was caused by him. And that is that. He made one tackle as well in the game and getting a rating of 6.6. .6. So Antoine Salem Semenyon got a rating of 6.6. .6 for AFC Bournemouth who today lost by a goal to nil to um, Brighton and Hove Albion. Now before we talk about Kamal Adin Suleiman's um, you know, cameo, let's talk about Tariq Lamte. Yes, Tariq Lamte today was very, very, very good. Yes, and, um, we can talk about him. He played 75 minutes for the club side, talking of Brighton and Hove Albion. And interestingly, he got the second highest rating, second joint with Joel Veltman as well as, um, yes, Joel Veltman as well as the goalkeeper Robert Sanchez. Karo Mitoma only had 7.5. He is the one who got rating more than um, Tariq Lamte. Now, Tariq Lamte playing 75 minutes in the game. He didn't score no assist. He has 62 touches, 39 passes he gave in the game. Accuracy was 88.6%. He also attempted one dribble. He was successful. Ground was one where five out of six. He went in for area doors. He went in for two and one one. Possession loss were 13. He made one foul. He was fouled once as well. And he made three tackles. And um, he was very, very fantastic. They took him out to augment the attacking phase because at that time, Brighton and Hove Albion needed a uh, go badly in the game. So Tariq Lamte did very well getting the second highest rating for the club side. Um, that is Brighton and Hove Albion. Now let's talk about the Black Stars of Ghana's ringer. His name is Kamal Adin Suleimana. Today he played for Southampton as they were trashed by three goals to nil. Today it was a tough, tough, tough game for them. Before he even came on, they were down by two goals to nil. Yes, in the first half, they considered two quick goals. One from Ben Mee on the 41st minute. Then Brian Imbuemo scored a second goal on the 44th minute. He came on on the 46th minute to take out Ibrahima Diallo 
and his performance was quite okay not all that great so Kamadi in Sulemana today also played 45 minutes of action he had 22 touches he gave seven passes accuracy was 50 percent crosses was one for him and um he actually um attempted um two long balls one was successful shot on target was one and that is that he attempted three dribblings as well none was successful ground was one where four for him in the game and one was successful possession loss were 13 he was fouled once and got a rating of 6.3 so Kamadi in Suleiman's cameo in the game he got a rating of 6.3 so that's an update over there for you now let's talk about one player who got the highest rating in the game now um, for um that is Saddam Ting. his name is um Mohammed Salisu Salisu got the highest rating for Saddam Ting. that is 7.5 as a defender he played 90 minutes and he made nine clearances in the game clearances of the line was one shot blocked were two then he also had two interceptions one tackle in the game for him now he also had 69 touches giving 39 passes accuracy was 76.5 percent he gave 15 long balls eight were successful ground was he went in for three and one one area was he went in for eight and one three possession loss were 14 he made two fouls he wa he made one offside as well shot off target was one for Mohammed Salisu. So these are the performances of some Ghanaian players in the EPR. I'll be bringing you more as well. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.